<laughs> What's going on? It's Saturday. Great, could you fold the laundry? No. <laughs> and the week begins, as it tends to do with a Monday, and I've just scanned a metric shit ton of photos, uh, all the ones that I missed the first time that I went home and collected photos that I wanted to create copies of. Because I'm nostalgic now. For some reason I want to remember my life. I guess it's because the one I have right now is garbage, because Eddie's in it! Yay! I ruin things! He does. I do. Ruin that pussy. Is last week done yet? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thanks for watching! I'll admit that I've pretty much spent all of today. No, not pretty much. I just have spent all of today uh, going through photographs for my album and wall. And, you know, out of the 60 I got from my mum's place, I have picked out about 20 that I want to put in the photo album, but I've reached the max capacity of my editing abilities. And there's this one scratch down one of the photos that I can't remove without screwing everything up so I've asked Twitter for help and I don't know if this is gonna backfire a lot. Oh what the fuck? No. So a couple weeks ago my friend Justine sent me uh, this piece of merchandise by Jomni Sun. Is that right? I probably pronounced that right. Jomni Sun? Jomni Sun? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she was like, is this ripping off Astaf? And I was like, I didn't invent minimalistic characters, but I like the design so much that I just bought it. So this is this is my new t-shirt. It's very big. Got it in a very large size. So I'd be all comfortable and stuff. It's so cute. I like it. So what was that? Kawaii. Sorry, huh? <laughs> Squidge, can you say kawaii? Kawaii. Oh. So last night I pulled out my camera and laptop to talk about how we'd accidentally leaked the rough edit of Christmas Delivery by showing a link to it on my computer screen uh, during the previous last week. But when I went to the comments to see how many people had noticed that, what I found instead was this overwhelming amount of vitriol and anger, which left me quite rattled and disappointed. Uh, to fill you in, the previous last week was originally called Last Week I Shot a Stripper, uh, in reference to the fact that I had a film shoot with someone playing a stripper, but obviously a clickbaity wordplay title insinuating that I had committed a gun crime against a sex worker. Um, and I got a comment, uh, well, I got a couple of comments, but one in particular, you know, detailed how that title was, you know, quite a shitty joke because, you know, gun violence is a, is a very real threat for people in, in the sex uh, industry and and how that how seeing that had had hurt them uh, and, and and really ruined their evening and you know this comment didn't tell me to do anything but I decided that you know ruining people's day is not what I'm about and, and I'd rather change the title and get a few less clickbaity views um, than run the risk of you know ruining people's days or uh, you know forcing someone to relive a, a painful memory However, that was apparently the wrong thing to do because the number of comments saying that, you know, this was, was pandering to a triggered snowflake social justice warrior and I'm a big beta male cuck and all this shit. The number of comments like that was just upsetting because is that, is that what we've come to now? Is that, is that where we're at? That like basic human decency and, and empathy is now you know, weakness, you know, make, making personal decisions to try and be a nicer fucking person is, 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 is a pathetic, pathetic fucking trait. Like how, how have certain people watched more than five minutes of me and, and, you know, not figured out that I don't enjoy being a nasty person. I like making fucked up jokes. Hell, I'll make fucking dead baby jokes till the cows come home. But if if I'm put in the room with someone I've been told has had a miscarriage recently, I'm not going to kick the door down and be like, yo, what up, bitch? Heard you just had a miscarriage. Baby baby's in hell, bleh. And then call them a triggered snowflake when they start fucking crying. That's not what I'm about. Tact and basic decency 
and 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 consideration are not bad traits and this pushback on political correctness and you know on social justice warriors is going so fucking far in the direction of encouraging people to be sociopaths uh you know apparently you know the correct response to that comment should have been to have just made a fucking video wherein i brutally murder a stripper why the fuck not and it's just I don't know what's happening, and I don't know why nastiness is being so glorified and held up on a pedestal while, again, basic human fucking decency is being treated like a cardinal goddamn sin. I'm not happy with it. Love the Christmas pig. Oh, you want to fight? Oh, all right. What are your thoughts on the Christmas pig, Squidge? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to throw this Christmas pig, Jolly. Kill him. We've decided that for Christmas, we're gonna give Squidge a steak uh, on Christmas Day. He doesn't need any other presents. He's a dog. He doesn't give a shit. He is killing that pig. You're having fun. Oh. Yeah, this will keep him busy until he. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say he'll break that squeaker in. Maybe a day. Yeah, I was gonna say four hours. Wow, Squidge! Literally five minutes, and it's it's done. F five fucking minutes. Squidge, if you fucking dare. Oh shit! It's my Christmas tree. I did it. I got lights. I got. It's, it's fucking Christmas time. There you go. All right, so. Let's get our swagger on, because we're at some weird fucking YouTube event. Yeah. Oh, goody! Oh, God, what's all this, then? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's a wall? Cool. I was... I don't know what's going on, but I was just offered some mulled wine. But then they told me I was not alcoholic, and I've never been more offended in my life. Oh, look, it's me! And Zoila! <laughs> <laughs> biggest Jesus. What do you have? Get off! Get, get more! Fuck off! Everyone here has lots of money and I want them to give it to me. I have no money. You have no money. <laughs> I still want you to give it to me though. Who is Ock? Today, 98% of the violent extremist content uh, that we find online is flagged by our machine learning algorithms. <laughs> Thinking, wow, he walked on as if I'm supposed to know who he is. Don't worry, okay, that's why we're all here. Right, here we go. That's me! Don't think he's fast, right? Because he's going to be up and out. I wasn't going to vlog anymore today because my camera ran out of batteries and I was just going to say that like Hamza Arshad is really funny and 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 it was really cool and blah 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 but I've just plugged in my camera because I just found out that pretty much every video creator at Cracked just got laid off and I'm like having a pretty intense reaction to it because Cracked is probably my favorite YouTube channel and you know it's one of the only YouTube channels where I literally never miss a video and to like find out that like all of these people who I you know been watching for years and I guess time it taken for granted are losing their jobs and I'm not gonna be you know like seeing them in the way I'm used to anymore really fucking sucks you know, I feel I feel like you know about this kind of the same way that about SourceFed, and it's just really sad. And I'm I'm trying not to get too emotional, but um, I'll probably talk about this a bit more when I know what's like happened. But just the initial news has really upset me. So I don't know who's been laid off entirely yet, but I just want to say to the people at Cracked. You made you made really good shit and thank you. So 
I should probably give some clarity to my emotional state. Um, as you may know, I take antidepressants, uh, but I actually mostly use them to control my temper, among other things. Um, the other things just being my general emotional fluctuations. And I ran out of medication. Uh, I know I get you know four sachets of pills, and I basically lost one of those uh, early. And I'm like waiting to get new ones, so I haven't actually had any medication for about a week now, and I am going haywire. You know, I'm fluctuating between like angry to like really sad to really angry. It's it's really just those two, honestly. So that's why you'll find me uh, crying. Um, or screaming. So if I'm abnormally aggressive and emotional this week, that that might be why. I am genuinely pretty angry and sad about a lot of things, though. So where do you draw the line? That's a nice stroller. Oh my god, look at those rims, dude. Thanks, man. Dude, you. <laughs> that thing's got rims. This is so wholesome. Let's ruin it with Jaden Smith. Okay, so I'm pretty fucking confused right now because YouTube Rewind is definitely out for me. Like, I can fucking see it, I can play it. It's got 800 views and it's it's just there. Like, I can even go into an incognito window and it's still just like, like I'm in incognito and it's right there. So it's not, I'm not logged in. It's just fucking, it's here. If you actually Welcome go on the video, shut up, Stephen Colbert. If you go on the video, it says unlisted, but I can see it, and it's not because I'm logged in. So, good news, me getting smacked in the face is in it. I intentionally suggested this shot just so that I knew I'd make the edit, and it was fucking worth it. Also, uh, shout out to the shot of me giving up and laying on the floor. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty great. Hey, Rick, what did you think of your first YouTube Rewind? Oh. Yeah! Rebecca! That's awesome! And Simon's cat! And Jaden! So Ollie and I have been having a couple disagreements lately about... You know, I, I, I'll, I'll always reference something that's happened in last week and he'll be like, I don't remember that. And I'll be like, why don't you remember it? You fucking, you edited it! And he'll be like, I don't remember things from the vlog. Elliot, what's your reason for doing that? <laughs> Please explain. It's because if I taking literally everything, then your memories will become mine. How often have you mistaken things that A I've done? A few times. I generally <laughs> thought I did the things, but you did the things. What kind of things? I was like, oh, I've been here, I haven't been here, but I know who has been here. <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm sorry that okay. I've done this to you. So I'm actively trying to not remember certain things. So who, who do you reckon last week is having a more negative effect on mentally, me or you at this point? I don't know. Collectively, you're both becoming the same person. <laughs> well, no, I'm not, Charlie. Things That's things rude. Things. Oh my god, it's time for dinner with Justine. That No, don't talk. Ah, oh, god! Oh, me! You having fun? What? Don't talk to me. Oscar, can you dance? Can you dance, Oscar? Oh, it's over. <laughs> Why are you filming this? No. I've never filmed anything ever. You're right, Charlie. You having a, having a day? Cheesy chips and curry sauce, while physically and emotionally devastating, reminds me of life at university and brings back fond memories in the same way the Uber I got today smelt like Red Alert Command and Conquer because it reminded me of my uh, neighbor's house when I was 10 years old. And that's all we did was play Red Alert. Memories are fun. <sighs> so I was just pooping, right? And I was thinking about 2007 when I was in class and I was introduced to LOLCATS. Well, specifically the website I Can Has Cheeseburger. And I remember scrolling through that website laughing so hard I genuinely thought I was going to throw up. 
Can we go back there, please? That was awesome. That was fantastic. Now all the memes I laugh at are like, Hey, fellas, mind if I just suicide? Fuck everything. God damn it. I've ruined... Yeah, I'm ruined. Mark Park, special delivery. <laughs> so I got a text today with just the words, test. And to my surprise, it was from my old best friend, uh, Augie, who I haven't spoken to in at least six years now. Um... All right, Squidge, calm down. Uh, Augie was in my first ever YouTube video, Tom Scar's Day Out 1, and he has this amazing line where he's like, oh, you've become one of those people, the kind of people who films their day, and I'm like, no, I'm just testing out my camera, and he's like, yeah, sure. And, and basically, he just predicted me becoming a vlogger, which is, I think, brilliant. Uh, the, one of the first lines on my channel is that. So, that was just very strange. Very fitting, given that I'm on this whole, you know, nostalgia binge at the moment. Maybe we'll get lunch. Like, proper... proper London people. What you doing, Eddie? Animating. Oh, I think you mean I'm animating. Oh, you right. Just like my favourite animator of YouTube Rewind, Tom Scar. Thank you. So, whenever there's a new YouTube Rewind, there's always... So many people saying this exact same thing, which is like, I don't recognize anyone in this! As if that's the, the video's fault, and not down to the fact that, like, YouTube is made up of dozens of different genres, and creators from multiple different countries, and all this stuff. But whenever I hear that complaint, I can't help but just, like, imagine it as if... It's like going into your old school and going, who are all these kids? These aren't the kids I went to school with. This school is shit now. Like, no, time, times have moved on. Like, honestly, I shouldn't be in YouTube Rewind. Like, I'm not, like, I'm, I, I think I'm still relevant, but you know, it's, it's not my heyday anymore. You know, like YouTube Rewind does belong to the Jake Pauls of YouTube. And whether or not you like them, like, they are the most relevant and influential um, parts of, of YouTube at the moment. You know, like, Jake Paul has every right to fucking be in that video. I, however, yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, that's, uh, there's a reason I'm in the background, basically. And that's absolutely fine. I'm happy to be included. But yeah, like, just because you don't recognize anyone in it doesn't mean the video is a fault. It just... <sighs> why, why do people get mad about this stuff? It doesn't... Fucking Maddie. I mean, yes, obviously I understand all the complaints about YouTube Rewind and how you, people should be boycotting it to protest demonetization, all that stuff. That's a topic for another time. It's just, it's just a fucking, it's just a stupid fucking video. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're gearing up to making uh, Christmas delivery live, but I'm unsure if I should put certain things in the tags. You know, back in the day, it used to be like, yes, put sexy, put porn, put boobies in the tags because that'll get you more more views and, and more relevance uh, in, in, in the search feature. But now it's like, are these actually weapons? You know, if I put these in, now they're actually relevant to a sketch, is that going to wind up with the video getting hidden? Is the algorithm going to go, oh, that's got boobies? I don't know what, what to do. I, I'm just gonna have to rely on putting very little tags in and hoping people share the video, I guess. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> no! What happened there? I just caked him immediately. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck my balls! <laughs> New invention. Stapled. <laughs> Triple stapled. It's I'm not, a genius. It's not an invention. <laughs> I've invented you, it. You just hit a stapler with a hammer. I'm gonna invent ah! a Eddie. Ah! Hey Squish, do you want a treat? Oh dear. So Christmas delivery is out. Um, I'm excited to see how people react to it, if nothing else. I uh, don't know how this one's gonna go down. If you did like it, please do give it a share. I, I really appreciate it, and I feel like I might be battling the algorithm a tiny bit with this one because of a. Uh, you know, the content featured within the video. Um, unsurprisingly, there's already a bunch of comments and tweets and stuff being like, whoa, Tom Scar's so fat. And it's like, 
Yeah. What did you think I was hiding under these fucking clothes? Like, I've been a fucking real chunker for like three years now, and it's, it still surprises me that people are surprised by this revelation. I guess people can... I've been on the internet so long, people can tune out for a while and come back and be like, whoa, that's a change. And it, But it doesn't offend me, really. Like, people saying Tom Scar is fat is... is isn't an insult it's a fact like i am fat um <laughs> no one is no one's denying that you know when when people add extra adjectives and quantifiers like disgusting or ugly that's that's mean that doesn't feel good but yeah i am fat like but this is the first you know video i've I, i've taken my top off for in a while where you know it's stretch marks and all so It's always fun to put yourself out there for a laugh. I was jamming. I was jamming. Yeah. You don't want me to pick your nose? Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, Christmas delivery got age restricted, which basically means that anyone with child mode on, or if anyone who just isn't logged in on YouTube, can no longer see the video. And truth be told, a majority of YouTube views come from people who aren't logged in, so... Bit of a kiss of death for the video. Apparently you can get away with um, bloody murder and death. Gave a kid AIDS. But but you can't, can't show a lady in a bra. Or a fat man. I don't really know what, what part offended them so. <sighs> it's fine. I'm not special. The rules are the rules. Still sucks though. <laughs> Squidge, what's this? Squidge, what's this? Squidge, do you want a, do you want a treat? Go get it. <laughs> he wouldn't go down that way. Oh my god! Oh, Squidge is so fucking cold right now. Okay, okay. It was a funny idea. Catch. So I thought, you know, as you saw, it'd be kind of funny. I'll uh, I'll put a treat on the on the ice. Maybe Squidge will put a pour in. It'll break. Like he won't really go in. It'll be fine. He didn't take it, so we just gave him the treat anyway. Then he immediately ran back outside and just jumped in. Just jumped the fuck in. Because he's a special boy. And you'll dry. There you go. You're dry. Oh, Pikachu pajamas. Fuck you, only small and medium. Alright, Christmas shopping for Squidge, because apparently that's my life now. Okay, Squidge, I've got this for you, but you can only have it when it's Christmas, okay? Okay? Just gonna put it right there. <gasps> no! So I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm having a bit of a, bit of a bad time at the moment. Um, <clears throat> this is the longest I've been off my meds. Probably since starting last week, um, it's been over a week now. You know, I've, I, the, the pharmacy wouldn't give me any more uh, antidepressants until I have a doctor's appointment. But the earliest doctor's appointment they give me was three weeks away. So when they gave me that appointment earlier this week, they said they were going to call the pharmacy and get you know an emergency prescription signed off so I'd have enough pills to last me until then. But I just called the pharmacy and they fucking haven't, have they? So I've got nothing and I'm, I'm, I'm not doing well. <sighs> oh, hi. Hello. So it snowed last night and the cons of being a garbage millennial is that I slept in too late to really appreciate the snow at its fullest. But the pros of being a garbage millennial is that I can check all my friends' Instagrams and see the snow that I missed. Wow, that sure looks nice. Ooh. Oh, look at you, ready to go into the winter world. So it's cold outside and Squid just started shivering. And... He won't pee. He won't. He doesn't even want to pee outside and we don't know what to do. So we got in this little coat. But he won't move when he's wearing it. He just stays perfectly still. Oh! <gasps> he moved. About it. He moved. <gasps> Come on, Squidge. Come on, back up. Come on. This is life. Come on, sweetie. Come on. If you don't want to be there, you have to leave. 
It's working. It's working. There we go. Goodbye. Yay! Well, that worked. Food is the ultimate incentivizer. Good boy. You ready to die? <laughs> ah, this is crazy. Like, it's not settling because the floor is wet. But I haven't seen snow like this in London since I think late 2011, early 2012. And I know that time frame because Ed was there and we were having a fucking snowball fight. This is awesome. Welcome to England. We do our best. GG, the Christmas snake slithers in so you won't wake. No. <gasps> Charlie. Have you heard? Have you heard, Charlie? I had a dream I got a I like him. You got a little Rudolph nose. Yeah. Yeah. The lack of you has caused a lot of problems, buddy. Oh. So yesterday, I made a joke on Twitter about pe people editing my, uh, can you not focus on the pile of fucking laundry that I have in the background, please? Don't remind me of my own failures. <laughs> I made a, a joke tweet uh, about people editing my Wikipedia page to say that I had a massive dong. Now this wasn't actually happening, it was just just a little bit of shit posty comedy. Naturally what happened next was a shitload of people started editing my Wikipedia page to include information about me having a massive dong. Lols. And it, it's finally now come to this point where Wikipedia have locked my page. Uh, because too many people were vandalizing it. So Squidge has revealed his master plan for vomiting on the sofa. It's so that we would take the cover off to wash it. So that he could eat the sofa cushion. You little fuck boy. Here's our technical, very technical uh, I've got so much tripod. Hmm? Oh, you got so much what? Dog hair. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> so I went through all the effort to get a set of lights and the microphone back home for Charlie for a collab to fall through. So we're filming a collab instead. We're drawing a... Uh, Childhood characters from memory, because we are original. We're a very original and inspiring couple, but that's going to be going on her channel. I mean, probably sometime a, in the next few days. It's just a bit of fun. You're just a bit of fun. You smell. Pretty much every evening of ours now ends with some sort of vine compilation. Gotta laugh before you go to sleep. Totally. Well, the week is over, and... Yeah, that was a... That was a rough one, wasn't it? Very emotional. Um. Huh. Well, got my meds back. So it'll probably be a rough couple of weeks while I settle back into those. But I should be right as rain in time for the big Christmas. Um. But yeah. Sorry if that was a, a short or an angry week. Just a uh, lot going on in here. Not just to do with you know, mental health and, and medication, but you know, my, my opinions and feelings about the world that I inhabit, so what fun I'm having but uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you last week maybe <laughs>